Additive inverse in modular arithmetic. Given non-negative integers a and b and n where a and b are less than n, the integer b is the additive inverse of a under addition modulo n if and only if a plus b is congruent to 0 modulo n. So pay attention to our restrictions on, on a and b. A and B are less than N. So that means A and B can be any of these elements. 0, 1, 2, up to N minus 1. Okay, so this is our restriction for our definition of additive inverse. Now, B is the additive inverse of A. Okay, under addition modulo N, if and only if A plus B is congruent to 0 modulo N. Now, this is also equivalent to this statement. A plus B is congruent to 0 modulo N if and only if either A plus B is equal to N or A plus B is equal to 0. Okay, again, from the definition of congruence, A plus B is congruent to 0 modulo N if and only if A plus B minus 0, okay, minus 0, divided by N is equal to an integer q, or the division is exact. And that can happen only if a plus b, okay, this one, is equal to n. By the way, a and b are both less than n, okay? So, n will divide a plus b exactly only when a plus b is equal to n. But it can happen that both a and b are zero, 0 plus 0 is 0. So when a plus b is congruent to 0 modulo n, and our uh, restrictions on a and b is they must be less than n, then either a plus b is equal to n or a plus b is equal to 0. Now let us say we remove the restriction on a, b. Okay, a, b, a and b can be any integer. If a and b can be any integer, then this is how we shall say it. b is the additive inverse of a if and only if a plus b is congruent to 0 modulo n. But that is also true if and only if a plus b is a multiple of n. Okay, so that is how we understand this. A plus B is M times N, or A plus B is a multiple of N, or A plus B is equal to zero, okay? Find the additive inverse of all positive integers less than five under addition modulo five. So the numbers or integers we are concerned with, we shall remove zero. Uh, the integers we are concerned with are 1, 2, 3, and 4. So what is the additive inverse of 1? What must you add to 1 so that the sum is 5? That's another way of uh, putting it. Obviously, it's 4. So the additive inverse of 1 under addition modulo 5 is 4. Because 1 plus 4 is 5, and 5 is congruent to 0 modulo 5. The additive inverse of 2 is 3 because 2 plus 3 is 5 and 5 is congruent to 0 modulo 5, so on and so forth. If this is the first time you are watching a video on modular arithmetic, you will be surprised and you will be lost, confused, and absolutely clueless about why, why 4 became the the additive inverse of 1, because ordinarily, our understanding is the additive inverse of 1 is negative 1, because 1 plus negative 1 is 0. It's also with 2. Our understanding of 2 in ordinary addition for the set of integers is the additive inverse of 2 is negative 2, because 2 plus negative 2 is 0. But that is for... Uh, addition, ordinary addition in the set of integers. But not so for addition modulo 5 or addition modulo n in general. 
The additive inverse of 3 is 2, okay, because 3 plus 2 is 5, but 5 is congruent to 0 modulo 5. Fill in the table using addition modulo 5. So this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 0 plus 0 is 0. It's congruent to 0 under addition modulo 5. 0 plus 1 is congruent to 1 modulo 5. So you know what? 0 is acting like the additive identity for the set of integers. You know, can you recall your additive identity? Additive. Oh, double D, double D, I'm sorry. Additive identity. So zero here is acting like the additive identity or uh, identity element for addition. Identity element. Okay, so zero is the additive uh, element. Additive identity or identity element for addition in the set of integers and also in the set of integers under addition modulo 5. So let us fill in this table. So you can look at these uh, elements inside the box as the remainders when you divide the sum under addition modulo 5. So again, if you want to... Uh, to see the additive inverse of 4 in this table, all you have to do is to look for where, for when is the addition congruent to 0 modulo 5, okay? So the additive inverse of 4 is 1. The additive inverse of 3 is 2. The additive inverse of 2 is 3. But for 0... The additive inverse is 0.